Hey girls, today I have a fun, exciting favourites video. So this is, I think, the first official favourites video that I've filmed. So it's for the month of February and I'm filming it like the last week of February. So it should be up early March. We'll see how things go. I put up a lot of videos actually, I think about four a week. So it could be up still in February. I have a really good collection of stuff here actually. Normally I would do really basic beauty products, but I've really thought about what I've been using, what I've been loving, so it's a mix of miscellaneous, lifestyle and beauty. So let's just get started. First thing is a shower gel, and I've had this for a long time, but I've never really spoken much about it, so it's from Lush, it's the bubbly one, and I don't know if this is seasonal, but I did get it around Christmas time, and I've had it and it's lasted me for months. Uh, this is like my third month of using it, so it is good value. I think this one was eight pounds, so mm. the reason I love this so much is because I love very bright citrusy scents, and this one is orange oil, sweet orange oil, grape juice, and probably a bunch of other natural ingredients, so mixed together it kind of smells kind of like a cider scent or champagne, just very like a bright, very bright, fruity and fizzy scent, so it is kind of for summer, but I've been using it in winter and I absolutely love it. So because it's such a strong scent, I feel like it lingers and the whole bathroom smells really nice and also it lathers up really well. So I think Lush shower gels have a really thick texture. So that makes it on your loofah and when you're like lathering it up, it just is so soft and yeah, I love the formula as well. Not to mention Lush is cruelty free, so I could go on and on about them. But then I have a perfume, so this is in no particular order, but this is something I've spoken about. It's the Victoria's Secret Bombshell. And I really have, what? this hair has been really annoying me. Uh, okay, we're just gonna leave that. So this is the 50ml original bombshell. I wanted the Paris bombshell, but I couldn't find it anywhere for a reasonable price. So I just went for the original and I do not regret it. So this one, again, I'm not going to embarrass myself, but I think this has passion fruit, maybe neroli or some other kind of muskier, deeper scent, so it's a very, very feminine, kind of sexy scent as you'd imagine from Victoria's Secret, but still very light and fresh, so I use it in the daytime and I've been wearing it to work. I spray about three or four times just so it lasts the whole day, like all over my hair, um, and I read that it does have really good lasting power, so I find that even a few hours later, when I'm, you know, moving my arm or flicking my hair, I can really smell the perfume on me, which is something that I think it just shows it's good value and a really good perfume. Yeah, I love the brand itself, very girly and luxurious. It's a good little splurge for yourself. So do go smell that and their whole bombshell range if you haven't yet, because I definitely want to pick up more. And now moving on to body care. So first I have a skin cleanser and it's the number seven beautiful beautiful skin melting gel cleanser that's a mouthful so this is for normal to dry skin but again i don't really listen to those things especially if you're just washing it off it doesn't matter but it's 150 ml it's a huge tube and i got this on offer i think it was three for two so i paid 15 pounds for three cleansers from number seven pretty good value and the brand itself is really great so that's kind of what it looks like it comes out in a kind of yellow gel and then it's like one of those melting cleansers where you just rub it in your fingers and then i like rub it all over my makeup and it melts everything off and i don't know if i've used this in a video but i will try and show it one day it's really great it has a thick texture like a very thick gel so i find that when you rub it out it doesn't become a liquid it still has a thick texture so it a little bit just kind of swipes over the whole face if that makes sense so like a pea sized amount is enough to get the first layer of makeup off then you can go twice to really cleanse the skin and following that i will just use some toner until my face is clean and i just find it works really well so it's good value and i think number seven is also cruelty free because it's the boots brand and then I have a hand cream, very, very into moisturized skin this season. This is the Body Shop Coconut Hand Cream. So it's a tiny tube, 30 mil, but a tiny bit does go a long way. So again, a pea size amount, don't know if I can, yeah, it's just like a white cream. Uh, it's not like a serum or a gel, it's a thick cream, but it's not oily. So I used a olive oil Body Shop hand cream actually, and I can still feel my hands are super moisturized and protected. And this one is 
yeah, so just a typical hand cream. It says it's got cold pressed virgin coconut oil. So coconut oil is like a superfood for the body. So I really love it. And it just left my hands being really soft and smooth. But usually you need a really like sticky, thick cream for that. And this one just kind of dries instantly. So don't know how that works, but I really love it. And then um, now moving on to like random favorites, I have a drink. This is from Organic Sweet Revolution. I picked this up at Vegan Life, which was a festival in the UK. And I definitely wanna pick up more from this brand because this is just the best latte ever. It's the Organic Instant Matcha Latte with coconut milk. So it's actually the coconut milk that makes it special. It has that kind of sweet kind of tropical aftertaste and it kind of softens the drink so it's not a really intense caffeine flavor which green matcha tea normally is it really makes it more of a sweeter dessert kind of taste but it's still very healthy it's dairy free gluten free so for any allergies you have literally anyone can drink this it's got coconut milk powder tapioca stabilizer organic coconut nectar organic matcha tea organic vanilla powder so super sweet and very good value i paid just six pound fifty on offer for this and it's like one tablespoon um per serving so you get like at least one month's worth so i think instead of buying you know lattes from coffee shop all a uh, coffee shop all the time i think it's good just to make this one at home definitely worth it so yeah i'll try and link the site below in the description bar and now finally i have two random favorites it didn't take much to think about these but the first one is a tv show so i'm really into just on the weekends like binging out like vegging out and watching catching up on tv or watching a really good feel good movie so the show i'm loving is dynasty so you guys may know this it's an american show on the cw currently and i did actually see the original so this is a remake and it's like a modern day interpretation very similarly uh, follows um, a very similar storyline and characters and everything so if you were a fan of that cult favorite or your parents were this is definitely something to watch and it's just one of those like, I don't know, soap dramas, but because it's based on a really solid past show, I feel like it can do really well. Just like, a bit like 90210, the way it started out really well, and like, it went for quite a few seasons. So I'm really loving it. It's kind of like a guilty pleasure because it's just like a really random, like dramatic soap, not realistic, but it's just, fun to live vicariously through um, the billionaire family that it's based on. So if you haven't watched it yet, give it a go. I really recommend it. If you like shows like Gossip Girl, 90210, um, One Tree Hill maybe, and Dallas, that old show that was also remade, this is the kind of show for you. And then finally, I have one song that is also a throwback. It's Electric Feel by MGMT. I kind of, I've known this song for years. I think it's like everyone knows it, but I didn't really listen to it and appreciate it until this year or like end of last year. And ever since then, I listen to it every single day, like without fail. I'm not sick of it. So it really is one of my favorites. I think it's just, it's so good. It's kind of like electro indie pop. Uh, I think it's a little alternative, but it's also mainstream enough for everyone to enjoy it. It feels like it just gets me like really pumped up for the day. I listen to it in the morning and it just, it's a happy song to be honest. So yeah, I really love that. And that's my recommendations for the month. Let me know if you've tried or watched any of these things I've mentioned and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you next time.